In this video, I just want to go over the way that you can delete a texture that you have applied to a particular material. Let's come in and create a new material. And let's apply a texture. I will just put a checkerboard on here. Turn on hardware texturing. We can see our checkerboard. Uh, if we want to delete this checkerboard texture off of this Lambert material, we can go into the hypershade. You can see our Lambert material. Let's graph the network. And if we want to delete this checkerboard pattern, we can select the place 2D texture node and the checker, and then just hit delete. We'll get rid of it. And if we look back on our Lambert, you can see our color port is clear. And one of the other things I wanted to show you, you can attach a texture to any of these ports. So let's get a sphere up here. Let's move this out and um, let's apply a new. Let's apply a new material. Here we have a fong. So we can do a render. Okay, you can see we're having, we have reflections. I'm going to apply the checkerboard back onto my plane, just so we have something to reflect into the sphere. Okay, so you can see we have the checkerboard pattern reflecting into the sphere now. So let's go into our sphere material and let's put a texture into our reflectivity. And we will put a, let's put a checker into the reflection. So now part of the sphere will be at a reflectivity of one and part of the sphere will have a reflectivity of zero. So it won't reflect at all. So let's do a render and you can see that we have this area over here is not reflecting. This area is. This area is not reflecting. So we can even come in here a little better. Raise this up. And you can see how we're able to limit how our reflections are working in our materials. And we can do that with any of these other spots. So let's come up to the hypershade. Fong 2 is the one that's on our, on our sphere. Um, another way that you can, let me just close this. Let's select the sphere. We go into the hypershade. And you want to graph what's in here. You can um, come up to this graph menu item in the hypershade and say graph materials on selected objects. We have the sphere selected, so when I do this, we'll have the material appear in our work area. And so let's get rid of this checker. And let's try putting something into the transparency. And let's go into the texture node. We'll put a fractal to the transparency. And then let's do a render. Now you can see part of the sphere is transparent and part of it is opaque and that's all based on this fractal pattern. And that's just a quick look at applying textures to other attributes in our shaders and how to delete a texture from our materials.